Murray there was, of course, the key was careering into the bunch. And uh, I guess they have to go in against anybody, but especially against someone as good as Ronnie O'Sullivan. But I think you're right. He seems upbeat, and he seems as if he's taken positives from that defeat, which is, I know is a cliche, take the positives, but Ronnie wouldn't very often be positive in defeat. He sets very high standards, but I think what? another thing to say is he respects the man who beat him in that final. He's a big fan of Judd Trump, I think, the snooker player. Plays a game that he likes watching, not necessarily in Bucharest when he's knocking in the winning balls, maybe. Always great to see the rocket playing, isn't it? Yeah, you're always guaranteed an atmosphere, and it's uh, the biggest crowd we've had by far so far in this tournament. Turned out to see him. Seven. Already trying to create, even the opening red was tight to get the pink in play. And now, well, he's finished. It seems the black will go. Wow, that really, really will open up the table, which was a little bit clogged up from the shot that Robertson missed. Must be tight, this. Yes, yeah, clearly black first. Red shifted away from there. 15. One of the great arts of watching O'Sullivan build breaks is how he does play key shots early to make high-value colours available, where other players will just wait and wait and get to 40 or 50 occasionally before they'll play the shot to free up the difficult shots. There's all the right options when in amongst the balls. Wonderful break builder. 21. Well, he did look rusty in Shanghai. He hadn't played on the circuit since the World Championship, but the cobwebs were blown away last week in Romania, where he produced uh, some really good snooker on the way yes. to the final. As uh, yes, Colin Humphreys, the referee, to clean the cue ball. This million pound bonus for winning all four tournaments is interesting because everyone is simultaneously playing it down and also talking about it pretty much all the time backstage. Comes up in every conversation. Well, certainly 127 players will have played it down to the point where they can't win it at the end of this one. Someone's still in the hunt. Uh, but I think the significance of that is there's probably six players that should they win this week could get, make it interesting at least. Whether they could win all four, I would think that's one of the great achievements of the game if it happened. But it's there. It's, the carrot has been dangled. Somebody. 45. Mark Selby was asked about it after his match. He said there's only one man he thinks can do it, 46. and that's the man at the table now, Ronnie O'Sullivan. But he does have the fear factor in his favour. That's not on, in itself enough to beat players. There, there's an argument that there's a, a few players on the tour mightn't fancy beating O'Sullivan, especially because he's quite intimidating 53. as to how good he is. Makes you feel inadequate out there sometimes. Players like that always do. 54. So that's part of the battle. But, uh, we just have to see what happens. These titles should also be taken individually is important, I think. Yes, and uh, in terms of the intimidation factor, the annoyance for Jimmy Robertson there is he 59. had a chance from the break-off shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan left him a chance. Might not get another now, though, in this frame. 60. I don't think a chance is going to come his way. A little potential nudge on the red there. In fact, he just come up to the red. He's almost there. 67. 75 on, but that goes down by eight points. Now the red's been potted. 68. 
with more than 67 left. Well, this has been a quick kill. Five and a half minutes for this frame. And just uh, a bit of mopping up to do, possibly a century. Either way, it's going to be 1-0 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. I think you'll appreciate the conditions because most players I've heard coming off this table, this show table, have said they've been playing beautifully. I know that uh, they should all play the same, but they don't all play the same. 81. But this is, seems to be conducive to good play and good snooker. All about the cloth and the conditions, the pockets. And they all work. These guys play at their very best. 89. 90. He's a little bit straight on this to get a nice angle on his next intended red. Ah, that's a pity. I think the double to the left middle here is the only way to keep the break alive. Great start, though. Yeah, certainly was 97. That point didn't even last seven minutes. Ronnie O'Sullivan up and running here in Manchester this evening. He looks in great nick. And he leads 1 0. First of four, he's through to the second round. 